hello guys welcome back to the channel and if you already completed this kind of lab already so for you this lab is smooth like butter so basically what you have to do just log in with your credentials and in the search bar just simply search for the big query open this thing new tab okay now just simply come on the task number one and copy this bucket name click on this create option paste the bucket name over here click on continue 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 now here just uncheck this checkbox and choose the fine grains click on continue and just simply click on create just wait for a couple of seconds and your bucket has been created now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score for the task number one without any issue now just copy this name copy that and here just simply search for the pop sub open this thing new tab wait for a couple of seconds click on create topic paste the topic id which you copy from here just simply click on create so you are done with the task number two also it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that meanwhile we will continue with the task number three and this is one of the most important tasks so please watch the video carefully so what you have to do just simply search for the cloud function open this thing new tab meanwhile just copy the name for your cloud function okay do not copy any extra space just make sure of that thing copy that name go back to your cloud function click on this create function change the name over here like this okay now here just simply scroll down no need to change the region just simply come over trigger and from here choose the cloud storage like this okay now here for the event type choose the finalizing and creating click on that now for the bucket click on your bucket which you already created just select and click on save okay so all your configurations must look like this if it's so just click on this settings icon from here just change the maximum number of instances to five and just simply click on next okay now here please pay attention first thing what you have to do from here choose the node.js version 14 make sure you have to choose this runtime version otherwise you will not get a score for the entry point just scroll down copy this thumbnail make the changes over here like this okay so we have done with two changes now here for the index.js just copy this make the changes like this okay your index.js file must look like this now just copy your topic name just copy that and from the line number 15 let me just zoom in for you here you can see line number 15 so just replace your topic id over here like this okay now once you're done with this just simply click on the package.json now here just scroll down copy this make the changes like this once you're done with all these changes make sure your runtime must be 14 entry point must be thumbnail and all this index.js now just simply click on deploy now this is going to take a couple of minutes meanwhile just scroll down copy this path okay please pay attention copy this path do not copy that semicolon just copy this okay go back to your incognito window paste over here and hit enter so you will get this kind of page so just right click over here and save this image make sure you don't have to make any changes like as a file name or the extension just simply click on save so your file must look like this map.jpg in small letters once your cloud function will be in running state that time we have to just do that step so just wait meanwhile just scroll down and check the score for the task number two and we got a score so we got a score for task number one task number two so just wait our cloud functions to be created and once it's done we will forward the next task
and after a couple of minutes our cloud function has been created now what you have to do go back to your bucket okay and just simply click on upload files and go to downloads and upload that file make sure the file name must be map.jpg and just simply click on open so the file will be uploaded over here soon and it's done if you just simply uh, refresh or you can see this file now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you didn't get a score on your first attempt just wait for a couple of seconds and click on check my progress again and if it's taking more than 5 to 10 minutes that time you might make any made any changes or make any mistake in the cloud functions so just make the changes correct and upload the file again okay and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day